Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So yeah, we're on um, number 128 of this series now and yeah, I've got one system to show today from the user Yellow and Black in Discord. So they sent me another um, link to the workshop so I've got that system all ready to go. So yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the system is, uh, yeah, on the subscribe one here, it's called the KPA Star System. So let's go ahead and see what they have prepared for us. Um, today so here we go so it's a small star system with a decent amount of objects so here we go so here is our uh, full system size so there we go all right let's see what they are prepared for us so we got the uh, kpa red dwarf slot right here so here are its stats so as we can see nothing too powerful um compared to the sun there so there we go but moving on to the planets themselves so first of all we have got a very look at venus look alike actually it looks reminds me of my uh custom venus actually let's get a look at this guy so uh, let's have a look oh it's very low in mass though if we look at the uh, mass here it's 40 moons yeah not the uh, largest thing around as we can see so it's been definitely made smaller if we look underneath the atmosphere there so it has got oceans on it okay interesting so there we go so it's covered in oceans and all ocean world it's at 62 degrees let's check the uh, stats on this guy so if we come all the way down here 85 but it's got no life likelihood so i wonder why that is so yeah, it's really warm but you could probably still normally get life likelihood at that so maybe it's due to the Let's see here, the atmosphere pressure. Where, where, where's the atmosphere? Oh, it's playing in different versions. It really does get, yeah, mixed up. So it's got 50.8. So, yeah, it's really uh, crazy. I'm not too sure why we're not seeing any number there. I'm guessing it may just be down to the temperature. But, um, yeah, there we go nonetheless. So that is planet one. So there we are. Moving on to planet two now. We have got a more... Uh, or a less atmosphered world, that's for sure. This one's got no crazy atmosphere on it like the previous one. So obviously a thinner atmosphere. It's mostly um, a frozen... I say that, but it's um, this one's also at 62 degrees. But it looks it looks relatively frozen just with the surface. But yeah, it's mostly just um, a dried, rocky surface, which is um, pretty warm at 62 degrees there. So yeah, there we go. Obviously there's no oceans on here, so I wouldn't expect any life likelihood on there. So there we go. Moving on to Planet 3 now, we have got another world sort of following the colour scheme with the um, the creamish sort of colour. It looks to be colonised underneath the atmosphere, so we'll get a look um, without that. So there we go, so that's what it actually looks like. So there we go, so it's got um, got some oceans on it, it's got some white clouds, oh, almost white anyway. So at 24 degrees, this one's definitely in the, a lot better sort of area for life. Um, its stats are 93 and 40, so pretty decent stats on this one here. So there we go, that is Planet 3. I really do like the um, the chosen colours, this one. I think it looks really good, like that. So let's just go on Earth Studios so and get a... F that's what it actually looks like. So remember, the star does change the colour. Maybe it's tidy locked as well, since this side is frozen. I only just noticed that as well. But yeah, I'm guessing um, tidy lock has made that um, frozen on that side. So I'm guessing the same face always faces the star. So there we go. Orbital period is six, uh, six days. That's pretty fast. Um, rotational period is 6.92 days. So yeah, it's practically tidy locked there. So there we are. Moving on to Planet 4 now, we have got a more white-looking um, object. We'll just go back to Studio Mode just to see it, but yeah, here we go. So it's at 5 degrees, so obviously it's a lot cooler than the other one. I'm guessing it's got a lot more ice areas on it, as we can see underneath those um, that atmosphere there. So here we go. It's atmosphere and clouds removed. That is the world. There, it looks to be another tidy lock world as well. Yeah, tidy lock worlds are really cool in the newer versions. I really like how uh, they now do this, where they freeze up on one side. That's really cool. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, moving down to the stats, got 95 and 52. So, yeah, even really even better stats on this one, actually. So, yeah, there we go. So, yeah, just comparing that to the previous one. So, down here, we have got 95 and 52. And then this one was only 93 and 40. So, we've had a massive jump up for both stats on this one there. But, yeah, nice um, pearl white looking world there. I like that one. So there we go. Moving on to Planet 5, we have got a completely frozen world this time. This one is very reflective, very shiny, at minus 131 degrees here. So yeah, there we go. And obviously, life stats, I mean, we can have a little peak, but yeah, not really anything high there. But yeah, there we go. There is the world. And then a realistic mode as well. That is what it looks like. So it's just tinted red by the starlight. So there we are. Right, now moving on to... Um, okay, so next up, we've got Dwarf Planet 1. It looks like there's a bit of an asteroid belt. If we just go on flashlight, yeah, there's a bit of an asteroid belt going on there as well. So yeah, there we go. But moving on to Dwarf Planet 1. Kind of reminds me of Sedna with the dark sort of reddish tint to it. Uh, minus 126 degrees. Very, very cool here as well. But yeah, there we go. No moons on this one. So heading out from there. I'm interested to see what Planet 6 is because it looks to have a lot of moons or rings or something around it. It's a lot of uh, 
lot, looks like there's a lot of orbits showing up around it. Uh, but now moving on to um, Dwarf Planet 2, we've got another uh, basic rocky world out here. Obviously um, still very, very cold as well, but a pretty cool colour scheme on this one with just the, the greyish uh, mixes. I think that texture, that's chosen uh, surface texture, I think that looks quite good with the, uh, the mix of greys on there. So yeah, there we go. Kind of reminds me of um, what Mercury would look like in reality, just a very greyish um, colour there. Now moving on to Planet 6, so we've got the first of the gas giants. I'm guessing there may be more than one. Yeah, it's got two, uh, two moons around it. Um, yeah, here we go. So it's mostly like a pale sort of orange tan color. We've got obviously a pinker uh, band in the middle with two white and gray bands um, on each side as that. And then uh, ooh, the South Pole's got this sort of dark purple to it um, as well there. But yeah, there we go. So Planet 6, go back to realistic as well. So there it is. Uh, moving on to moons. So let's go on the moons. So there we go. So moon A2, so obviously very, very small little moons here. Not very large in size um, whatsoever at 187 there. Then we have got uh, Moon A1. So there we go. So there are those guys. And this one has a bit more of an atmosphere to it as well, as we can see here. Not as thick as a Venus atmosphere, but you can still just about see to the surface um, with this atmosphere there. But yeah, there is Moon A1. So there we go. Now we got Rogue Planet 1. So it looks to be the last planet of the system for today. Uh, but yeah, here we go. So Rogue Planet 1. And I'm guessing it's an object which has just sort of flown near the system and got caught by the star by the looks of it here. But yeah, here we go. So, so obviously an all-grey gas giant there. Um, and then moving on to the moons, we've got um, some ones quite close to the planet here, actually. So there we go. It's got that little, like, weird glitch at the top as well there. But, yeah, it's not really too much of an issue. So, yeah, very, very dark coloured here. Yeah, and as you notice as well, very, very dark. So obviously we're starting to get to the end of the Red Dwarf's uh, light um, by the looks of it. If we look on the uh, zone, I'm guessing we've been long past the zone. Yeah, we're all the way out here now. This object is, let's see here, two, two, only takes two years to go around. That just shows how close we actually are. I mean, it's only double what Earth is around the sun there. So um, where are we here? So, yeah, the major axis here. So if we put that in AU, it's not even one Earth in distance. And it's almost dark here. That just goes to show that the Red Dwarfs, they really don't have the the um, power of our sun. And, and obviously the stars are all above that as well. Because remember, our sun's not the most powerful thing out there. But, I mean, compared to this Red Dwarf, and obviously all the Red Dwarfs, um, in theory, yeah, even at 0 0.7 AU, it's already getting pretty dark out here. It just goes to show the Red Dwarfs are very limited in their luminosity there. But, yeah, moving on to the other moons as well. So we've got uh, G2 out here, another frozen world. Obviously, these are all going to be frozen at this point, minus 270 degrees. Uh, and honestly, yeah, if we just go through the um, rest of the moons as well, so we've got G3 here, so it's got an orange and white colour theme, uh, G4, all that here, oh, it's actually a micro object as we can see, so yeah, yeah one of those little um, asteroid-like ones, and then moving on to G5, we have got a slightly larger one at the end here, but yeah, there we go, so yeah, for a pretty um, short and sweet system, I have to say for this one, yeah, probably some really cool um, planets show up in this one as well, so yeah, very nice job indeed, so yeah, the KPA star system made by the user yellow in black in Discord, so again, a massive thank you to them for sending this system in, guys, and also if you want to check out, um, so get one of your own systems in these uh, videos, sorry, yeah, if you want to get um, one of your own videos in, um, oh, my own videos, what am I saying, one of your own systems in, um, yeah, let me know um, down below in the comments, as um, that's option one, or join my Discord server, option two, um, that link is in the description, where you can literally just uh, send your systems and you can upload them send links to the steam workshop i'm um, like yellow and black did here and yeah you can get them in videos that way but yeah please note the discord is a lot more reliable options as in the comments they can get lost they're more easy to just forget if they get lost in all the comments and stuff so yeah please keep in mind the discord option is the a lot easier option and it definitely guarantees um, a system in the video once i get around to doing it once i have got through the queue since it's quite a good uh, good amount in the queue at the moment but yeah with that all out of the way guys a massive thank you for watching today's video before we finish off let's get a lineup of all the the objects like we always do so go to radius we'll go to studio mode so yeah for me my favorite has got to be the white where is it the white one with yeah here we go this one i really like this one just the pearl white sort of color theme with the, obviously it's got some frozen oceans in there a bit of regular ocean as well it's not frozen yet but yeah i, I don't know i really really like this one so yeah that i think yeah planet planet yeah planet three and then planet four here i think those are my two highlights um, definitely my favourites um, in this system. But yeah, there we go, guys. So, yeah, let me know your favourites down below in the comments as well. And yeah, guys, with that all out of the way, also, again, a massive thank you for watching today's video. Let's see if we can go for 40 likes on today's video, guys. Also, subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to 14,000 subscribers. Um, as we, yeah, we're getting pretty close to that now. So yeah, massive thank you to you all for that. And yeah, with that all out of the way, Again, instructions to send in new systems. I literally just said them there. So if you want to send them in, just make sure to follow those. And then I can hopefully get them in a video um, at some point. But yeah, guys, make sure you all have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.